told them about. So are we just starting well. over? Um, that's up to Scottish man. Like, what do you, what do you want to do? You're the DM, man. Bro, I'm too sure. What do you guys want to do? Let's, let's, <laughs> let's. You just want to start over story. the, so the beginning of the session. How about we turn this into a session zero? <laughs> <laughs> to make new characters. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's like a great place to start. Uh, I'm saying it now. I'm not being a spellcaster. I unless, it, unless it's like a paladin, right. or like that. I have, I have like, I have an idea. Okay, so, yep. You have witnessed there a absolute show, um, turn itself into something that will and can be better and we're going to kind of talk about this one because this is organic we just came off a tpk same session nothing's changed i just hadn't stopped the recording and i'm glad i didn't so we're going to see what we can kind of learn in regards to this today because a lot of things happened in that session and you know we've all taken our blames and we've all taken our licks and our punches and now we're actually looking at it from a more mature standpoint so Let's see what we can learn from our own TPK and watch how we can flow, essentially, failure into new ideas. This is essentially new session zero. So I'm going to move that over there. Um, oh, I was vibing with this character. I was fucking vibing, guys. I also was so really bad, liking we that. Want to what did we learn about opening lock closed doors? <laughs> Make sure you don't. Thank you, Paladin, up front that can actually take a few hits. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm oh, just gonna oh, let oh. Cody know right now as well that it's basically um. Oh, oh so uh, I'll... better yet, just check if there is someone behind the door first. Uh, so don't open the door if we so, have low health. Hold on a minute. So, uh, Cody, mate, um, we TPK, total party kill. You're technically the only one that's still alive. Um, so we're going to discuss a continuation, and if we are, we will we'll then... Um, me and King will contact you in regards to some shit. But aye. We need to check doors more often. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, kill us where shit gets real fun, so... Yeah, as you see there, I'm, I message Corey. First thing I do is like the guy that wasn't there, and I say, "Hey, this is what's happened." No, we're yet to still contact him. We finished at three a.m. and it's now five p.m. I'm gonna make him aware of what's going on. Make him aware of what's happened. We've all made the consensus. We've all made that choice. It's a it's a democratic process. That being said, if you don't like the outcome, you are free to leave. However, everyone seems to be on the consensus that we're, we're you know we're doing the same thing. We're gonna all be here. And do what we've agreed to do. But what did we agree to do? Uh, Ruby has really only just joined us, let's be honest here. But like, votes are all equal. So, Ruby, Jason. Uh, technically, the DM counts as well, and all right. Uh, wow. King. Uh, I don't even know Say Hi's actual name. Say Hi. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Don't, don't forget Matthew. You gotta write Matthew down as well. That's that's the thing I can vote for myself here. So, um, yeah, but we need to write it down so we can see your vote as well. So, first question uh, is in regards to the group. Keeping the group, Ruby. Yes or no? What, like this group together? Sure. Okay, Jason. Yeah. Oh, that's me. King. Yeah, yeah. Say hi. Yep. We'll say to Corey as well. If he says no, then he will be out of the group, and it's then us. I imagine that um, Alpha will say yes. Mm -hmm. So then the next question comes. Uh, Ruby, same campaign. Yes or no? I don't know this campaign, so I am I'm impartial. Okay. Because I've, I've seen nothing of this. Jason, same campaign. Uh, yes, I just stick with the same. Okay. Yep, same. Say hi. 
Yes. Okay. Ruby, continuation from where we left off or restart? That's a good question. Because what I'm, what I'm considering is like I could be there from the start, <coughs> but I am also not the biggest fan of level one gameplay. We didn't start at level one. The game does start oh. at level one, but we took it at level two because the level one encounter uh, was four goblins and a bugbear. And it's at range, so like, you know, a single lucky shot. I see a single lucky shot from any of them, like, you know, a short bow's 1d6, a goblin's got like 2 in strength, that could be a maximum of 8. Um, that's gonna so wipe out someone. That's, that's gonna right. wipe out someone instantly. Yeah, no, then then I, would, I wouldn't mind to be starting, so I'm there from the start and I don't have like, a proper character from the game. Yeah. Jason! Uh, I'd say restart. Okay. Uh, 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 restart, I guess. Whatever you want to say. Say hi. I'm impartial. I don't care either way. Okay. Uh, three on the restart. You're impartial, so you'll go either way. So... Regardless of what Corey and I say, general decorum is restart, so um, we're restarting the campaign. So, we've established that we are restarting, that we're keeping the group together, and that we're doing the same campaign. So, you know, we'll find a way to make it this in another way. Um, but, yeah, what do I do next? I'm going to phone Corey, and it's now it's now 6, 16. Uh, he's still not going back to me, he's out for dinner. But, he'll be fine with it, I know he will be. Um, it saves us a lot of it, so what do we do now? Well, uh, we actually immediately started like character creation and character concept and actually discussing what we wanted to do now. Simply put, this isn't the end of it. The group still is there. We just, you know, need to find a new way around it. We need to discuss more and more things. In regards to it, Ruby is the only person who's came in with a character. Um, Ruby's the only person that's came in with the character and hasn't even played a whole session with that character. So, um, what I will now say is... Ruby, I character is going to be... Paladin, I assume? I don't know, most likely. I'm kind of like looking at what the other options are, but nothing really strikes me as interesting. Uh, right. Might go with a different oath. Okay, okay. Uh, I've got to sub anyway. So I'm going to ask a few simple questions. If anybody's got any character ideas, this is where we'll do it. But obviously we will discuss it beforehand. Uh, looks like the new Fan Delver campaign is going to start just after the new year. Well, start showing on YouTube after the new year's now. Uh, so, cool. Uh, Jason? Mm -hmm. Any idea in terms of class, race, or subclass? Uh, well, it's either going to be a barbarian... Or some other melee fighting one because no spellcasters anymore. And do you have a particular race in mind? Uh, if I'm going barbarian, I'm going to go either orc or half orc. Okay. Uh, Makes sense. Orcish. Also, I'm not married to paladin. If you say, "Hey, I really want to be a paladin," take it. Yep. Uh, say hi. I'm really sad Babis died, honestly. I really like this character. I'm really annoyed that you didn't get to see the full potential, I'll be honest, but I'm mm. really annoyed you didn't get that. Mm. Like That's my whole thing. Like this campaign seemed like it would have worked better if we started at three. Yeah, and it's just the way it's the way it's written as well, yeah. which is the worst part. Um we'll definitely have to discuss that here. Um yeah, <laughs> Honestly, I was contemplating putting you guys at level 3 after the long rest, but I'm like, everything else was so <laughs> easy prior to that, I'm like, uh, We, get we get absolutely like, shafted <laughs> by RNG there, we did <laughs> fucking shafted. Yeah, it really was, it was just mm. like, yeah, that, that, was, that, was that was predominantly, that was predominantly, they had, higher than like seven. I uh, was really just... a mix of, they had insanely good roles and we had insanely bad roles. I really just want to play Babis again, but I don't think I should. Expand his twin brother, Babis. 
Um, <laughs> I want to bring back uh, Gob, but with it, but with a, a, a more serious name. No, hold. Oh, uh, is in, is, it, is in Goblin D's not? Yeah, yeah. My <laughs> bugbear <laughs> bard. Oh, Goblin! <laughs> Goblin D's <these> nuts. <laughs> Goblin D's nuts. Goblin D's nuts. an actual <laughs> fucking serious name. What was what, that, uh, Kiri? Kiri? Yeah, yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah, I love that one. Kiri. Actually, if we don't have a dedicated spellcaster, I'm more than ha I'm happy to go full caster. So I, I am. I'm, I'm I swithering. Can. Yeah? No, you go, mate. I, I would be fine with going with a spellcaster or barbarian if I. I can actually play a decent necromancer, but. I just can't. My guy, your last necromancer had nothing but touch spells and we fought a dragon. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I just. Oh. Uh, what I really become... like that character and I like. Necromancers in general, so I can play one if necessary, but... What has become very apparent to me from this, uh... This, uh, campaign... I can't play spellcasters to save my life. So once we had our characters thought out, don't want to spoil too much there, but we all know roughly what we're playing, um, we then started to critique what we did now. Oh, I started, because, um, everyone kind of blamed, uh, Say Hi for just wildly opening a door, which, yeah, true, he did wildly open a door, however, in his defence, you know, we rolled poorly, the DM rolled amazingly, <laughs> so like, you know, um, it was like, right, here, here's what's going on, and I'll, I'll admit, we played our characters as the characters, and we, we all played one particular aspect of them, um, so for example, I talk about it here. Babis dumps that intelligence because barbarian. However, he had really good wisdom. So, like, you know, whilst he may not know what to do in certain situations, he's wise enough to check a door. And instead, he just walks up and swings open the door. Um, you know, things like that. I even point out myself that I was doing everything I could tactically. As, you know, I would take my first action as I could and I would grab an enemy to try and knock them prone so then that way I had advantage to try and crit fish with a second attack which is actively weaker when I could just have been making two attacks and that's on me so there was definitely that critiquing and the whole idea is like you know this is what we did wrong like yeah early level you may want to try and get as much of an advantage as possible it's not anyone picking on anyone or you know screaming at anyone for it it is the critique, so that way we play better, you know, what we noticed of other people and maybe what other people noticed of us. You know, nothing else needs to, nothing else needs to change, which is good. We just need to... We, 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 need, to, we need to play... I, I'll, I'll use a phrasing in a way, and I hope everybody gets it. We need to play with more wisdom. Yes. I get the Babis had an 8 in intelligence. But he also had a 12 in wisdom, which is like above mm. average. So like, you yeah. know, I get, I get, where you, I get, you know, where a lot of your things came from in there, you know. And yeah, myself, like I was, I like, full heartedly, hundred percent admit, I was always going for advantage where possible. Whereas I could have been doing two attacks and said I was doing something to try and gain advantage to make one shittier attack better. So like I'll admit to my faults on there as well, like that one, I was... I could have done better. I think my fault there was just picking a, picking a spellcaster. I think it was also... My bad was I was just doing dumb shit, but... You were playing to the character's intelligence neg ne neglecting his wisdom. Hmm. Like yeah. everybody knows a locked door in a dungeon, you maybe give it a little listen, a little check, a little feel. And you know you you kind of yeah, ignored that I, yeah. for the fun of like yeah, running in indoors, which yeah can be hilarious when you run it like some dumb shit, and then this one just happened to be the dumb shit that kills us. Yeah, the, that the was one thing around and flying out. I was you all had you only had like six health or something as you were opening yeah. the door. You you ran in at like a whole. Yeah. Yeah. my whole thing was <laughs> I opened that door thinking of doing a joke and then realized. 
that I had 10 health <laughs> after opening the door. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> yeah, oh. that. So here's what you're going to take away from a TPK in that regard here. If everybody knows that everybody made their own faults and everybody can admit to their own faults, you can continue as normal as well. You can reevaluate, readjust, and realign yourselves. Get back into it better, stronger. Granted, the character, okay? The character there, gone from this campaign. Like, I, I had a lot of things I'd love to have done with Joshan that I can no longer do in this campaign. If there's another campaign, sure, I can bring Joshan into that. And if he, he dies there, then, you know, do other stuff. I've brought back another character that I played who is dead because, you know, firstly, that is not my world, so I don't care about that. Secondly, it's not the same character. Whilst the character itself, you know, name, race and such is all the same, the subclass is entirely different. So, uh, we'll be seeing you in the new year with the new start to Lost Mine of Phandelver and the Shattered Obelisk. Until then, guys, uh... We'll see you very soon.